Hello and welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Don Johnson. And I'm Terry Briggs. Here's what's happening in your city. Grand Prairie is getting a second dose of aerial spraying to kill mosquitoes that carry the West Nile virus. The virus has infected dozens of people in North Texas, 10 of them in Grand Prairie, including one fatality. The spraying is scheduled to start at 9 p.m. and could continue for several hours, much like the first round of spraying on Sunday night. To do the job, planes like this one will be using a chemical that attracts adult mosquitoes and then kills them. Health experts say the chemical is safe for humans. The chemical that's going to be used in this, this case is approved by the EPA and the Center for Disease Control for this application. They had, there are tests that have been done across the country to see if there is an impact on humans. None have been identified in any of the places where this has been used in California, in New York, and Florida. And so, and like I've mentioned, it's, it's, it's utilized in the truck activities that cities across the Metroplex have done for years. And so we have not noted any impact of any kind. And so that's why it's the chemical that's been selected. Still, residents in the spray areas are asked to follow these precautions. Stay indoors and close the windows. Bring in pets. Cover beehives and ponds. And be sure to wash fruit or vegetables exposed to the chemical. Meantime, the city will continue ground spraying if there are new human cases and will use the reverse 911 system to notify residents. You can also do your part to help fight the bite by following some simple steps. Mosquitoes breed in stagnant water, so drain pots, buckets, and patio furniture. If you own a swimming pool, be sure to run the filter and treat for algae. Wear insect repellent that contains DEET, which works the best against mosquitoes. Avoid going out at dusk or dawn when mosquitoes are feeding. And if you go outside, wear long sleeves and pants. And remember, you can check for spray alerts and other West Nile information online at gptx.org slash fight the bite. Back by popular demand for the third year in a row was the Hatch Chili Festival at the Farmer's Market in downtown Grand Prairie. Grown and boxed in Hatch, New Mexico. Once again, hundreds of people flocked to the market to snap up the popular Hatch New Mexico chili peppers, which were roasted and packaged by Parks and Recreation Department staff and volunteers. The taste, the texture, I mean, I do salsas and this is the best chili so far. Yes, sir. The Parks Department purchased 4,000 pounds of the peppers for the festival, and for the third straight year, they were completely sold out by the end of the afternoon. And something with the soils, the climate at, in the Hatch, New Mexico area, just give these peppers such a different taste that there's a lot of people who will, will sell them as Hatch, but unless they come from that region, they just don't taste the same. And people that really like the Hatch peppers, know the difference between a, a fake hatch pepper and a real hatch pepper. So it, it, uh, it was a big deal for us to, to start the, the festival and it's just gonna keep growing every year. Many consider hatch to be the world's best chili pepper. Two, one. Champagne and confetti toast the grand opening of Paragon Outlets in Grand Prairie. The $100 million shopping center features more than 100 leading designer and top brand name stores, selling merchandise at up to 65% off retail prices every day. Shoppers were lined up early to check it out. Oh, it's all wonderful. It is all very good. First class. It's a lot of people. You know, I've never, I never been to an outlet, so it looks pretty nice. It's not too bad. It's different. I didn't expect them to have any place like this. I but I'm excited about it, just down the street from my house. And city officials are excited about the revenue Paragon will generate in sales taxes. We think conservatively it'll generate $2 million uh, for the city and hopefully maybe even three or four. But we think conservatively $2 million. We're cool over here now, they all gotta go down. Officials are expecting thousands of visitors this weekend, so police, parking attendants, and off-site parking lots are being used to ease traffic problems. You can get directions and other information about the Outlet Center by going online at paragonoutletsgp.com. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you can join us next time.